the stuff in the things. Here we go. <sighs> Hi. Where's the where's the other friend that says you have? Also, cool treasure pile, dude. Like it's pretty sick. I'm gonna be honest. Yo, if you think you're gonna win a shieldy boy war here, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I am very diligent when it comes to shielding. Oh, oh, there he is. There's the friendo. He has a big old fuck you at bow and arrow. Sweet, my favorite. All right. So I have to wait for two types of attacks to go off. Uh, because I'm fucking... Oh, here he comes. Half HP, he's like, nope, I gotta fight too. Now it's 2v1, which just... I mean, it was already kind of 2v1, but, like, now it just feels a little bit unfair. Oh, fuck me. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna sting. Oh, wait. He broke something. What'd you break? He's dragon? Oh, my fucking god. Ouch. That was a pain thingy that you did to me hurt very much bad but we're just gonna make sure that you bust all those because I'm pretty sure I can't do it oh he busted my shield up busted my shit right the fuck up all right gonna be honest you guys are not my favorite boss and I know that you might take offense to that but honestly I could give two shits less at this point because uh, you're kind of just really fucking aggressive, and I, d I don't, I don't greatly dig that. Real talk. Oh, I tried to roll through one, and I didn't roll through it, and then it just hurt me. Yeah, I'm taking a swig right in your fucking general direction. Oh fucking hell, dude. Oh, that was an attempted roll as well. Yikes! These guys are. No fuck arounds today. Oh, he's gonna block that hit. That's unfortunate. And I'm gonna eat all three of those because I'm garbage. Because I'm a garbage person. There's a couple of good rolls, thank fucking god. Oh, this is gonna hit me. I got some damage in. I might consider that to be worth it. Uh, I tried to roll again and I didn't get it. Didn't fucking get that roll. Oh, oh, we're out of spells on that one. All right, that's fair. Oh, fuck off. That's great lightning spear damage right there, boys. That's a dead dragon. Oh, oh, I miscalculated. Oh, I miscalculated dearly. Oh, my goodness. Now he's dead. Fuck you, nerd! I can't see. Oh, and I'm gonna pay for it. I should've just fucking rotated the camera. I was trying to play with spells. And, oh, he went for the kill. He went for the kill stab. What a dick. Where is... Oh, that's great heal. I was like, what fucking spell is that? That has one charge on it still? Yo, do you want, like, a big old lightning spear? Here. This is my kind of spear. Get fucking dumpstered, nerd. That does a lot of damage, actually. Guess you don't like spells very much, do you, dude? Guess you don't like spells very much. Oh, that's... Oh, that's too bad. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, howdy. That's just a real shame right there. That's what that is. Goodbye. Get fucked on. That's just a real shame. That's just a real shame. That whole business right there, that was just a real shame. Really too bad. I only have one Estus Flask. I really can't talk that big of a game here. I have one Estus Flask left. I didn't really do that great. <laughs> but I did beat it on the first try.
Hurrah for victory. Eh, I mean, yeah, it's it's fine or whatever, I guess. So I guess we go through here. Oh, hi, sword boy. How's it going? What's this? All right. That's a lie. Hello. Yeah, hi. Can I have your sword? How'd you get here? I journeyed from the distant east to perfect my swordsmanship. Mm -hmm. my Oops. Sword has been in my family for generations. I may face any man, a man or beast. This land is the right mess. It keeps going. The people of are mad glint in their eyes. Mm. The land itself is overrun by terrible beasts. Like you? Sure. This land is the right king. That's, that's all you got for me? This land, king, the land, no I think this is like another shot at like, hey, just in case you want this dude's sword. Which I mean I do, but oh and he's gone. Uh bye sword guy. Hope I never see you again, because you're kinda weird. Does this take me to any treasure? Hello? Game? Uh, that's gonna be a hard no on that one, I apparently. Apparently, that's gonna be a hard fucking no. But that's okay, we can always come back. What's this way? Hello? Oh, shortcut boys. Alright. Climb this ladder real quick. Okay, or real long. Hmm. Quite the, uh... Quite the tower you've got here. Oh! Oh, no. I fell down. Ooh. Hi. Uh, hello? Um, one of you is going to wake up, and I'm going to kill you by this, this, this giant guy. One of you. Hello? No? Oh. You're an enemy. Hi. Oh, not today, bitch. Okay, so we got wall nerds. Is there a wall nerd over here? Hello, wall nerds. Hmm. No. Hello? No, nobody wants to wake up and hang out with me. What if I promise to totally not murder you and put your soul in that golem? What if I promise that? Would you hang out with me then? Could we de be definitely cool bros then? What do these fucking say? Yeah, enemy required ahead. I fucking know that. I fucking know that. Am I supposed to try to leave? Oh, hello. I remember you guys. Oh, I, I, you guys, you guys will work just fine for, for a blood donation. Oh, except you're going to kill the fuck out of me. Oh my God. God, I couldn't get my shield up in time. They just fucking murdered. They just murdered me. I just lost all of my hit points. And then I died. Wow. 
That's not how I expected that encounter to go at all. Can I pull this? Nope. Spooky mirrors. That door is locked. This is why I need a soundboard, you guys. This is why I need a soundboard. I may not be the even the most remote close thing to a Metal Gear Solid fan, but you can fucking bet I know the meme about the ladder from that game. Well, the third game. And uh, boy, would every time I climb the ladder in this game, I just push this button on the soundboard. And we just call it good. Can, will you come over here? Will you like leave the wall? Do you have to be a wall boy? Will you like, if I like go over here, will you like come over this way to me? What if I'm over by the wall over here? You wanna come hang out? And I guarantee that joke would literally never get old. It could, it's impossible that it would get old. It would always be funny. It would always be exactly as funny as necessary. All right, so where the fuck did they even come from? All right, they spawn at the same time, which means they get lightning spears. Get fucking dunked on, nerd. Yeah, no 2v1 this time. No 2v1 this time. Nice try, though. Oh my god, you're so fucking aggressive. Can I just fucking back off and heal for a second? You laughing with a lot of Fs? Alright. Maybe it'd be worth it then. Is that close enough? Oh, bye souls. Hello, golem man. Oh, what was that? Oh. Wow, look at him turn that. What a hero. Hey. We got... We got the elevator. Boy, that's just going to keep going, huh? Oh, there it is. Hello? A treasure? An old knight hammer? Oh, yo, yo, hold on. Hold on, let's take a step back. Let's take a step back and take a look at our... Oh, 30 strength? Ooh. Oh, I don't think I'm that far off from that, though. 28. Wham. 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 Yo, I bet this would fuck people up. If I could use it one-handed. Get dumpstered. Look at that shit. It's disgusting. I don't. It's too heavy. <laughs> it's too heavy. <laughs> it immediately over. Oh, ninety percent. Ninety percent. Uh, this thing. This thing weighs eighteen pounds by itself. We're gonna go ahead and unequip that now. Is this a trap? This fucking smells like a trap. Are you a trap? All right. Uh, Kaitha's chime and soul greatsword. You know I like looking at chimes. I got this nice protective chime. Um, a little bit better cast speed. A little bit lighter. Uh, gives no boost to lightning damage. And I need a bunch of uh, I need a bunch of intelligence. So we're gonna go ahead and just pretend like we never got that magic bullshit chime, and stick with our good holy chime. So nobody needs any magic bullshit in here. Except Pyromancy. Pyromancy is A-OK. -okay. Oh. Oh. Hi. 
Uh, friend or foe? Ah, uh, that smells like foe. I just got a nice little whiff of that. Thinking, thinking pretty heavily foe. I don't remember you from my playthrough either. So what are, what's your, what's your end game here? What's your goal? Just try to charge me and be really bad at it. Didn't I already kill a horse like you? Oh, you got Stompy Boys too. Okay, all right, all right. I'm just gonna be over here. You can come hang out with me when you're ready. Uh, have a feeling I'm gonna have a nice little surprise for you in store, ready to go. Just special for you. Nobody else gets this. Just you do. Ouch. Then you hurt me. Oh, then you hurt me a lot. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. You don't have to do this like this. It doesn't have to be like this. Come on now. Come on, horse. Come on, get stuck on the stairs. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> See you later. Getting some Sunny D. All right, now you want to... Oh, lock onto the horse. Don't get stomped. Still get stomped. Run the fuck away. Drink some Sunny D. Sunny D is uh, good for you. Here, have a fucking lightning spear, motherfucker. Still doesn't really seem to care. What about fire? How's fire treat you? Not... Not your favorite thing. Lightning Spear was more effective, but I don't have any more of those casts. Oh, that's the breath attack. That's the breath attack that we don't want. That looks very evil and bad. Oh! Almost ate that charge for nothing. Almost did that for basically nothing. Here you go. Here you go. Goodbye, horsey. Goodbye, horsey. What'd you leave me? Gower's Ring of Protection. All right. Uh, was Gower the horse's name? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's read the ring info as soon as I find it. Gower's. There we go. Reduces damage taken from behind. Weighs 10 pounds. The Ring of the Assassin Gower, who has killed a half dozen kings and several distinguished clergymen. Horses don't wear rings, dum dum. Uh, what do you call those things that go in their noses? Hmm. Hmm. Call me a dum dum. You don't even know how horses work. So how do I get back? One size was too big. One size was too small. One size was just right. March of slavery. All right. I mean, I don't think you're wrong. Just thought I'd, just thought I'd posit the question, throw it out there. This looks nice. Not here. Thanks, game. Thanks, other players. You guys rock. Where does this go? Hello? Please don't let there be more assassins. Oh, you guys don't look very... Oh, fuck! Hello! Boy, I was definitely right about the not looking very friendly thing. Y'all just dropped that shit on me as soon as I opened the door. What kind of hospitality is that shit? Well, now you're gonna get dumpstered. Oh! Ouchie! That was an ouchie boy. Fuck you! Alright, that almost was an ouchie boy. Oh, what, 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 what? Oh my god, the wall! The wall attacked me again! I'm getting real sick of that shit. Too bad my shield's really good against fire, motherfucker! Get wrecked! Your wall bitch wasn't enough to stop me. Desert Sorceress Skirt. 
Repair Powder, Flame Butterfly. Five and ten. And now the dude in the wall's dead, too. Goodbye, wall dude. It's nice hanging out. Not really. I hear people clinking and clattering around outside. I'm gonna be honest. Estus Flask Shard. Wow! What a find. Oh, is this the door that was the stuff in the things? I bet it is. I bet this is how you get back. I figured it out. We're just getting this shortcut taken care of. Yeah, sure is. This is how you go in reverse. But there are jackasses up there that are going to shoot me, so I'm going to go murder them first. Don't think I forgot about you jackasses. You owe me a debt. You harmed me. Therefore, uh, we will fight. Oh, it's just one of you? I thought there was two of you. Hi. Yeah, I'm just not going to let that hit me. You can aim over there if you want, though. Dark Souls AI, everybody. Oh, 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 hi. Well, welcome to the fucking party, my dude. I didn't even smell you there. Oh, ouch. Ouchie. Ouchie. You hurt. Uh, you caused me pain, and I don't have spells to fight you with. So I don't have to get in melee. Oh my fuck. That attack chain is really strong. Yeah, I fucking learned my lesson the first two times, dude. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me. Oh, fuck. I did not expect the attack to come in after that. I'm dead. Oh, he's gonna try valiantly. He didn't get me, though. Wait, wait, what's the game plan? Ooh, a little, little spear jab in the air. Alright. Alright. I'm starting to pick up. Oh, and you've got a, a swingy downy. That's the technical term for that com combat maneuver. If you guys didn't know. Did that hit him? Another swingy downy. Boy, you just got a lot of stamina, don't you? Must be nice. Too bad it's all gonna not mean anything. Uh, real oh, fuck. Oh, bye. Uh, I hope you didn't have a cool item, because you are f you are fucking dead. Uh, <coughs> well, there you go. That's how you fight that. That's how, you, that's how you are intended to do. Intended strats. You're welcome for the advanced uh, look and peek into... Uh, the true way to play this game with the best strate strategy possible. Where does this go? Uh, this doesn't fucking open. Cool gate, cool door, Dark Souls. Cool fucking door, bro. I really, really liked it. 10 out of 10 fucking door. Yeah, where would that door even go anyway? To the nothing. It does. It can't possibly go anywhere. Even if it did open, it literally can't go anywhere. All right, so we've got the shortcut back to the bullshit, but I don't really want to go back to the bullshit. I want to go to that elevator I I moved. That's like, uh, yeah, it's right here. It's got the switch and everything. Is this is open now. Nope. All right, up we go. Take me on a magical journey, Dark Souls. Uh, take me on a magical journey and don't stop. Didn't miss Mirror Knight? You did not. Uh, the only boss I beat was uh, Dragon Riders so far. We are climbing our way up, though. We are working, working our way up to the tippity top. The tippity toppity. Um. Oh boy, we just we just got a door, eh? Just just the door. All right. Yeah, it sure is. It's that guy. 
That doesn't look very comfortable. Really horrifying shit right there, by the way. Not a fan. But hi, how are you? Can I talk to you? I think I can. Can't I? <sighs> no key to the embedded in inventory. Yeah, you're right. I don't have that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Key to King's Passage. He's just a wiggly lock boy. Don't don't sweat it. He's just a wiggly lock boy. Uh, some garbage. Fire seat's nice. And a strong magic shield that is a spell. Not really much of a shield, but you know. Um, so that key though. Do I get any hints? Key to King's Passage in Drangleic Castle. Uh, King Vendor trial all manner of things to purge the curse. When every last attempt failed, he, the king fled to the King's Passage. Do do do, going back down. Do do do, gonna be fun. Probably goes to this door right here. Hey -o. Very nice. Very good to hear, show. Congratulations. Very happy for you. Oh, this is a bad time. Hey look, it's the King's Passage. It's that place that we were told about. We got some skulls. This guy. Try attacking, really? Eh, classic Dark Souls. Classic fucking Dark Souls. I probably just didn't, it definitely looks different. All right. Some of you assholes are gonna come alive and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do fisticuffs. And I don't remember which of you it is. I'd just like to get that knowledge there we go. There it is. Ha uh ha. -huh. Gotta pull all four. Uh which as you can see is a really fucking bad thing when it happens, so we're just gonna walk out of the King's Passage. We're just gonna go right back up this way, drink some Sunny D, get this guy to throw a little ham on me. Wow, wow, he is just a stamina destroyer. You bet it's the ones that move? Incredible. Chela, master detective. Incredible sleuthmeister. I don't want to be anywhere fucking near you guys when you attack. Because you just say, how about how about fuck your stamina? Yeah, that that is a shield break move right there. And it hurts a lot, and I don't much care for it. So could you just not? If you really want to throw down that bad, how about you let me do some damage first? Then we'll talk, huh? How about fucking that? I have no Estus flasks. Uh pfft. All right, well, let's go the other way. Because that's just good. I know what boss that leads me to. Uh, and, yeah, fighting fighting any boss with... Oh, wait, nope, I don't want to go there. Fighting any boss with actually zero flasks is like, eh, you know, poor life choice. So let's just pop in here. A private investigator? Was it really? 
Why not Pegomaster? Can you be the boy wonder? I think you can, show. I'm gonna make that executive decision. F oh, that's fire. That's gonna be still fire. We're just gonna walk right past it. I don't mind fire very much. It's all right. Not not really uh, big on it one way or the other. We're gonna go this way instead. Yeah, executive decision. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? About as good as you always are, I, I would imagine. Oh my fucking god! He's gonna kill me. Oh, that was so greedy! And now I'm gonna kill him. Get wrecked, nerd. We're just gonna do... an old great heal. Got it! Look at that. Fucking healing hit points, though. Faith is just the best stat in the game, and anybody who says otherwise is just fucking wrong. Yo! What a swing! Hello. Trying to join before I was done, eh? You know, they consider that rude where I come from. Just still swinging away. Bye! Firestorm. <laughs> Ooh, I smell a mimic. Oh boy, do I fucking smell a mimic. God, you are an awful looking mimic. I... Hmm... God... Oh, yep. That dude just got eaten by a Mimic. This is a fucking Mimic. That dude totally got eaten by a fucking Mimic. Not today, motherfucker. Yeah, nice try. Nice try, you ugly-ass piece of shit. How about I have a fucking Lightning Spear for breakfast? Oh, shit, he's gonna eat me. Oh, God. Please don't eat me. Oh, please stand up. Please let me get up. Oh, God. He's not like this. Yeah. Oh, he fucking did his thingy at me. No, no. He's dead. Nice try, motherfucker. Washing pole. Petrified dragon bone. What an asshole. Sorry, just don't mind me. I'm just gonna zip right through here. It's fine. Bye. Just wanted to pick up those treasures really quick. And now we're gonna go do this old thing. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna go back here. We're just gonna spend our hard earned souls really quick. A Sephiroth RP with the washing pole. I mean. You probably can. I'm probably not going to. <laughs> uh, but I believe in your ability to be whoever you want to be, show. Uh, I believe very believe very strongly in that in that capability. I think you've got this. Uh, yep, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. You want to be the darkness? Yeah, that's. That's pretty smart, I'd say. Being in the darkness is pretty good. Is that a sh here? I, it is. However. It is a shard that I found. Why, thank you for asking. Heyo. We got 12. <laughs> well done. Well done, Shayla. Congratulations. You got the my giggle of the stream. 
Can I do it twice? 4,000, but I have another fire seed. I'm always here. That's 50. That's probably not going to get me there. Ah, fuck it. Oh, that's 5k? Well, and now we're in there. Now we've committed. Yeah. Look at that. Level 7. Level 7 Dark Pyromancy Flame. Seems, uh, pretty good. Very wow, GG. Maybe, maybe a quick, maybe a quick little reinforcement on the old, the old mace here. Maybe that's what we'll do. Just give that, that sweet little mace, nice little, nice little reinforcement here. How does that sound, Mr. Mace? Uh, tight night chunks, eh? All right. Yeah, sure, why not? Take it to plus nine. What do I give a shit? Oh, I can't reinforce it anymore. I got an achievement, Supreme Weapon. Apparently I didn't get that in my first playthrough. Uh, cause I'm garbage. Cause I'm a big old garbage baddie. So is it? Oh, it's plus 10. We did it. The mace. Uh, doesn't get any better. So if there's DPS issues at this point, it's this guy. Uh, Alright, we just want our boss. Our boss is right through here. I'm just going to go ahead and fucking pull this. Because I guarantee if we wipe on this boss, I'm going to fucking fall in that hole. Is a, is a good hat? It's a good hat. It's a pretty good hat. I like the hat. Yo, should we play dress up really quick? Is that what we need to do? I haven't played dress up in a while. The question is, this is a good hat. Do I have a better hat? Uh, I'm pretty optimized on, on weight right now, so I can't really go heavier. Alright, hat stays. What can we do about our equipment? We can get some resistances. What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Could bring up some resistances a bit and shed some weight if we put on this stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, old Iron Claire gauntlets. Damn. Oh, Royal Swordsman gloves. Those are really good. Put those on. Pants. Oh, have the leggings. A lot of blue. One important red. That is the red that says, you're going to fat roll now. <laughs> yeah, probably good on the legs, to be honest. Have we picked up a better shield than our, our good shield, the Grand Spirit Tree Shield? Are we, are we sitting on any other sweet-ass shields that we should be using? Got plenty of great shields uh, that are pretty big, heavy. The Mastodon Great Shield, we're actually... I could see us using that before the end of the game. Uh, old Knight Great Shield is usable. Look at that. A hundred. Look at that. <sighs> it's a classic case of 
Oh, it's way too heavy, though. It's way too heavy. Got the Twin Dragon Grid Shield, too, as an option. Blossom Kite Shield. Kind of kind of an old standby. A, a good friend of ours. That's uh, not a great... It's Blossom Kite Shield, not Great Shield. Uh, it's way better offensively, and it's got better damage resistance, actually. Which I, I feel like I'm going to want. I almost want to pick up... Something that's really going to help me uh, hold my own here. Got the Dranglaic Shield, too. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put that on. Where have you been all my life, Dranglaic Shield? Um, this. Oops, 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 oops. Yeah, that probably just reset the spells that I had equipped. Oh no, I'm up to six and I only have four? Whoa, when did this happen? I have more spells that I could equip. Eh, we'll do that later. I gotta fight these nerds first. Hello, nerds. You're a nerd. Oh, I just fucking destroyed him! He's dead! Wait, can I do that to all of them? Wait, do some of them already not have heads? Oh, it's the one that have it's the ones that have heads. I've learned. I got a free kill on one. And it was super worth it too, because I'm only gonna have to fight two at once. Which is great. Get wrecked. Oh, that's gonna whiff. Oh, it didn't actually whiff. Stopped in mid-kick, too, which is great. Wow. Wow, that went about as good as I could have hoped. That was really good. So we got our shield. We got our dead guy. Soul of a Proud Knight and Twinkling Titanite. Oh, there's some more dead guys. Hello, other dead guy. Life gem. Eh, not as excited. not as thrilled about that. Not as thrilled. Gonna be honest. Whoa, what's this? Another dead guy? Petrified something? Gosh, those are just my favorite. Alright. I suppose we'll go fight this fucker. Hello, dickhead. Wow, that just really hit me. Alright. Alright. What's... I don't remember what your deal is. Can I hit you with spell? Oh, you are. You know what? That's that's just not really doing it for me. Gonna be on oh, oh. Oh, that hurt. Oh. Oh, we're lightning boys. Oh, okay. What if I stand over here and just, like, hit you with fire, though? Oh, okay. All right. Let's let's maybe calm our butts down here for just a tick. Just a moment. Your aggression is like very admirable, sir, but goodness me. I frames get dunked on. Oh, what? I'm just gonna. Oh, the lightning balls come out of it this time. All right, all right. I'm glad I kept my shield up. That was oh, big mirror boy. Has has that? Oh, that's right. That's what you do. I remember now. You suck. I, yeah, I had forgotten that you suck, um, but you definitely do. Definitely suck a fucking lot. Now I gotta kill this mirror boy. And that doesn't help me kill the actual boss at all. How about we not do the shield thing again? How does that sound? Does that sound like pretty slick? I, I think it does. If you were to ask me, I would say maybe we never never ever do that again. Oh my god! The damage on that shit. And this is why I brought the Dranglea shield, because I 
You know what? Dodging is for suckers, is what I would say. When you can just tank every hit when you're bad with with a, with a cool shield, why not just use the shield? Ouch! Greedy, greedy, greedy. Thought I had the thought I had the backspacing there, and I fucking didn't. Very cool. Not lightning voice again, please. Oh, 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 and it's the balls too. Glad we ju glad we juke that. Oh, I hit the shield. Well, whoops. All right, what are we doing? Oh, the strike with it this time, eh? Changing up the game. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna be honest. I'm impressed. Color me impressed. Oh, and I'm just not gonna let you do that. Oh, you are very tanky when you're summoning. Oh, you're so tanky when you're summoning. Can I just kill you now? All right, cool. Looking glass knight. Handled. And he gets some like sick damage reduction when he's uh, pulling a dude out of his shield. A wall. It's not an illusion. Raise the sun. That dude just looked like he went in the ground. Ah, this looks like an elevator to me. What sun do they see? It's fucking rain. Oh, okay. Well. Chest. Treasure, but not here. Oh. I can see. Hello. Soul Bolt. Spell Quartz Ring plus two. And three things that I should just sell. I'm never going to use them. Spell Quartz Rings are these guys? Yeah, increases magic defense. Down we go. Oh, this looks, uh, pleasant. This looks like the kind of thing you want to see at the end of a uh, King's Passage. Got a nice, we got a nice little torch. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna grab that, because I'm pretty sure I can burn this shit over here. Get myself a nice little treasure. Oh, or just break it. Alright, that's fine. We're still gonna bring this torch, because... Boy, does it look dark down here. And there's water. Ooh. Hello? Monfire. Shrine of Amana. Oh my fuck, I remember this place. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh Do not like this zone in this game. Do not like it at all cuz it's butts. Super duper big old butts. All these dudes are enemies and it sucks. Uh, I want this treasure, though. Can I have this? I will gather it later. Hello, fuckhead. Wait, can I talk to you? Are you actually a bad? Oh yeah, you're a bad guy. You're the you're the guys down there. Uh, I don't like this game, Chela. <laughs> That's the the long and short answer to that question, or that comment. No, I do like this game. 
Uh, but I don't like it. But I do like it. Uh, but I don't like it. But I do. I do like it. Uh, but I also really just don't like this game. But I do kind of like it. Oh. Nice try, sucker. This is the game. This is one. The Dark Souls series, I believe, is a perfect game to epitomize by saying, I have a love hate relationship with it. Uh, it makes me. It makes me sad at times, and it makes me elated at times. And uh, it's not. I wouldn't even call it a healthy relationship that I have with this game, but. Here I am, Friday night, hanging out, playing the game. So that should tell you uh, pretty much everything you need to know, really, if we're being honest here. Uh, if you feel like you need to know more, uh, I don't know what to tell you. That's just where I sit with it, though. Uh, I mean, right, not everyone does, and... In each to their own, but... You know how I feel about Earthbound. That is the game in recent memory that I have had the most unhealthy relationship with. So... What does that make you? Uh, somebody who looked away when the spiders were on screen, but otherwise really enjoys sadness and pain in this room. Uh, this is why this zone sucks, by the way. You got sucky spider boys all over, or sucky uh, underwater boys all over the place. They're not fun. They're not anything remotely close to fun, and you pretty much need torchlight because you gotta walk out in the water out here, and as you can see, the the area just kind of just ends. This is a this is a, a pitfall area in the game. Also, they hide fucking treasure chests out here. Because the game devs are fucking cruel. Elizabeth Mushroom. And they hide enemies in the water. We got some... You can see them, too. Actually, it looks like they... Maybe in the remake they really added something. Those glowy yellow things? That's how you see them if you don't have a torch. If you do have a torch, you just walk up to them and murder them before they can scare you. Um, but you gotta listen for the sound effect that they make. And uh, look for the little the little spell effect above their heads, basically. Those are your only options. And if you couldn't tell, they kind of leap out of the water in a set direction. So as long as you can see where their head is, you can actually just kill them real quick every time. They're not really a threat. Oh yeah, the singing. I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna give you this one right now. The singing is not good. Uh, the singing is not good. You'll know, you'll see why. But it's not good. I know it might sound good. Uh, the voice, the the vocalizations are very pleasant, but it's not a good thing to hear the singing. It's not. Like if I had my choice right now on hearing the singing and not hearing the singing, I would pick not hearing the singing. Yeah, these little assholes are fucking everywhere in this water, and it sucks. Because you pretty much have to kill every single one of them every time you want to get through here. Because they will just aggro on you. So if you don't know about the cliff here, you see the treasure through the rocks, you don't have the torch, you're like, Oh, I'm just going to run back there. Everything will be fine, right? You start getting mauled by those dudes jumping out of the water. And then you've fallen off a cliff that you literally couldn't see underneath the water. That's that's pretty much how this zone goes the first time you come to it. Uh, and it takes you a few times, if you haven't been using the torch, to realize that the torch is, like, damn near an essential tool for this, for this section of the game. It's like, look at how easy it is for me to skirt the edge here. Sneak up behind this little jackass right here. I'm getting cursed. Uh, there's probably a curse jar somewhere nearby. Uh, they hid those in the water too, because they're assholes. It's either in the water or in the house. I don't remember which one it is. 
Oh, it's right there. Yeah, it's in the water. So they hid these in the water because they're assholes. So this is just a slow... Once again, I, I think I've commented on this before while I've been playing this game. Dark Souls, in and of itself, is only as hard as the player makes it. There is a certain amount of difficulty, but ultimately, the game is pretty much only as hard as the player makes it. Uh, and the easiest way to reduce the difficulty of Dark Souls is to just be patient. Am I walking through around the edge of this water super slow the whole time? Yeah. Is it, like, the most fun thing I've ever done? No. Does it, like, pretty much guarantee that I'm not gonna die? Yeah. So, you take you, you take what you get. Oh, I just rolled out my fucking torch. Not what I wanted to do. You take what you get sometimes. Sometimes the game puts you in an uncomfortable situation just to test you and see if you can be patient. Uh, that roll was really not conducive to my game plan. I'm gonna have to pick up another torch. And I forgot about that guy. Fortunately, they didn't completely screw you over on this one. They left you a little torch here to pick up. Let's go talk to the singing lady. Hello, singing lady. Boy, this sure is a nice bloodstained carpet you have here. What a what a nice hut you have. It's quite quite homey. How are you? We knew you were coming and stopped singing. We are Milfanito. We are here to sing to those bound by death and dark. We will sing here forever. As we always have from long, long ago. We know nothing of the world outside. And why should we? For we will never leave. Do you seek King Vendrick? Maybe. But what is a king, after all? We know nothing of the world outside. For we will never leave here. When we sing, the little ones dance. The little ones grant comfort to those who bear death and dark. This is what we were taught. Is there anything wrong? Perhaps this will help. This is all that we can do. When we sing, the little this. When we sing, the little this. There you go. You just got lord at. You're welcome. All that lore for a smooth and silky stone, and we can't even light her carpet on fire. Feels fucking bad. Why is that bad, though? The reason that she sings? I mean, it's just real depressing. And it's gonna start back up again, and the problem with the singing is that it masks the sound of these fucking creatures sometimes. You have to, like, really pay attention. Uh, and make sure that you are listening at full ear volume. Full ear keep it Who's fucking running at me? Hello. Couldn't you just wait patiently, could you? Yeah, full ear volume. It's very, very important that you listen at full ear volume. See? Now she's fucking singing again. So it's harder to hear the tingly tinglies. Uh, and it's just... Really not a great message. Gosh, I remember these nights being, like, way harder to deal with the first time I played this game. They'd, like, gang up on you and charge you all at once. Just, like, really do their best to fucking ruin your day. Oh, this one didn't even- that one didn't even move. This one pulled before that one did. Oh, there we go. There it, there it is. Yeah, fight me two on one. That's the only way you're gonna stand a chance. Give, oh, oh. Give me your item. Slumbering Dragon Shield. Yo! That sounds pretty cool. Alright, got Soul of the Lost Undead. Proud Knight. 
See, how else am I gonna hear the jingly tinglies if she's just fucking belting her beautiful voice all the time? Something's gotta give. It's the way I see it. Dragon Charm. Whoa, not what I wanted. There it is. Just give me the one shot. This is also not the only area with this shit, too. There's another one. Uh, which is part of the other reason why this place fucking sucks. Um, so you're like, wow, you just cleared this area really easily. Why is it so hard? Why is why is it so uh, despised by you? Well, I'll fucking show you. Because we're not done. We're not out of the woods yet. Uh, literally and figuratively. Yeah. There's trees everywhere. See, this shit right here, this is just a whole mess of fucking bad stuff. I don't want to deal with this right now. Can we just, like, not? Wait, do I just get a free kill on you? You're not even gonna move? I just get a free kill on all of you? None of you are, none of you are even gonna flinch? Wow, you are patient motherfuckers. My goodness. I think I may have made this game quite a bit more difficult than I needed to the first time I played it, let's be honest. Alright, I got some more smooth and silky stones. It's about time to make a trip back to see our little friends. Soon. Uh, also got a thing, another thing from that that I have already blocked from my memory. <sighs> this is not a boss. This is the area that fills me with dread. This fucking place right here. Uh, because those knights that I remember being a pain in the ass, I remember why they're a pain in the ass. They get spells in this area. Um, and they fucking just ruin your day. And these assholes are still here. And they just, they will just fucking charge at you from too far away. I don't think I didn't see you there, you little nutsack. Oh, I rolled. Fuck. Torch is gone. Need torch. Also, the first five deaths in this area. I didn't know this bonfire was here. That's my own fault. I'll accept that. Um, but I didn't know it was there. So, you know. Makes it a little trickier to get back each and every time. Yep, there's there's the spells. I, I can smell them already. And you already are forced to move slow, and you're trying to keep your torch light out, which means you can't use a shield, and you don't want to roll, so you just kind of got to walk at a good angle, but you never know if you're going to be able to get to this character, because, like, what if, what if she's got the little water shitters hanging out? Like, it's just a bad fucking time. It's just a bad... And, and look, I kill this one... I kill this one, and another one's already fucking shooting at me. This, this is the shit. This is the, this is the fucking worst. And now I'm invaded. Now I'm fucking invaded by a dark spirit. I gotta deal with that shit. It just, like, it doesn't ever get any better in this place. There he is. There he is, running along, running through the water. Look at him. 
Got a big old, big old thing. He just wants to get right in there. He's really... Whoa. That did some fucking damage. Okay. All right, buddy. You're going to be a pain boy, eh? All right. What do you think of spells? Do you like spells? <laughs> All right. You don't give a shit about spells. Sick. Oh, shit. All right. I don't think that this one's fake, no. I think this one's real. Oh, buddy. No, I I I I restarted the game to be online, so this is this could totally be a real person. Oh, what? That how did that not hit? God damn! Yeah, that might kill me, actually. That spinning attack is fucking good. It's fucking good. What? I was trying to back away there. Oh, at risk. Why now? It might break. Yeah, I can fucking damage through shield too. And you're not even using a shield, so I can just swing right through that shit. That's a very cool move uh, that I bet he really likes. Take a step back and heal. But when he doesn't save himself any stamina to use it, he loses. Very cool, dude. Very cool. I don't know why you didn't heal. Maybe you were not a real, a real boy. And if you weren't or were, I honestly don't give a shit. It's done. Needed to repair my mace, which means I have to deal with some enemy respawns, but it's worth it. Hello. This is my house. Get the fuck out of here. My bonfire. You don't mess with me there. I'll just kill both those dudes in one one nice swing there. That's pretty sick. That's pretty nice. Alright, so I gotta go deal with this caster first. And as I already demonstrated, dealing with this caster forces me to deal with another caster at the same time. That was an excessive coup de gras, but whatever. Whoa! By the way, if I go attack this one, guess what? There's another one that's going to smell me and attack me. Because that's just how this zone works. Alright, actually, I guess the other one didn't smell me yet. Oh, it's it's this motherfucker right here. That That's a dude. That I have to fight and kill. Oh, see? There it is. There it is. I told you. I told you there was another motherfucker who wants to get all up in my shit. And now I gotta deal with this sassy asshole who is just wrecking me. What I need to do is outrange that caster really quick here. Oh, fuck me. There goes the torch. Worth it, because I gotta kill this guy. Otherwise, he kills me. Ugh. Let's go get that torch again.
And I don't remember if this big ass knight is gonna pull on me at the same time. Uh, it's very possible that he will. I just gotta use that spell, unfortunately. Oh! Oh my god. Alright. Got rid of those dickheads. Is there anybody else who wants to fight me before I can go fight this chick? Remember, remember how I said I don't like this place? See that other one that's already casting on me? It's a zero-sum game against these uh, casters. And that's the... Oh, and I doused my fucking torch. Let's just get you out of the way. I know you want to fight me. Ouch. I'm just going to drag you over so I've got that debris in between her and me. Oh, fuck me. Ow! What the hell? You ever stop swinging? I guess that's a no, eh? This is that guy is definitely like I, I could have just run back and gotten torch again, but as you can see, he's kind of one I wanted to be able to roll against. Rolling is very good. I don't know why. Uh, for as much as these games put emphasis on like. The combat feeling weighty and and like uh, like you're actually fighting with those weapons. Like when you queue up an attack, it takes like a good second to really get swinging. Uh, <laughs> the fact that rolling makes you immune to shit really really counterproductive to a a system that feels like pretty good fighting. You know, just kind of one of those funny things, funny little Dark Souls quirks, if you will. Yeah, you know what? Uh, you've got your friend already shooting shit at me, eh? Couldn't even just fight me 1v1? Yeah, see, this right here is the problem. The deeper you go, the more casters you get casting shit at you, and it just starts to feel like it's never going to end. You finish killing this one, and there's already another soul arrow on its way, and it's like, my god, when does it stop? Is there ever an end? Could you just not? For like two seconds? Now I got this fucking nerd on my radar. Like it's it's pretty it's and there's more too. Like how many have I killed? Five, six casters that all chain together like that, so once you fight one you're fighting another one? There's more. I'm not done. There's fucking more. There's always more. It just makes this zone feel like a fucking eternity. Meanwhile, I gotta go down here and beat this guy. Uh, we're we're putting the we're putting the torch away. I cannot I cannot have myself taking taking shots like that. By the way, this is the same enemy model that we just as the boss that we just fought. In case you didn't recognize him, this is like a dragon. This is the dragon rider model. And he basically owns this fucking bridge until he decides to let you through, or you kill him. Because, as you can see... Oh, he's gonna kill me right here, isn't he? Oh, I got so lucky with that dodge. Okay, that was greedy of me, and I shouldn't have. Naughty. Bad me. If you're not careful, you'll just walk right off the edge over here. And if you just didn't bother to kill all the enemies on the way here, if you notice how far this dude... And as you can see, I've got a guy on me now. Ouch. I'm just trying to do as much range damage as possible here because obviously fighting him sucks. Pretty bad. I'm dead. Fuck. Yep, he killed me. And now we restart. Now we restart the whole area from the bonfire that I was at. I shouldn't have drank there. I should have just backed off more. I knew that he was going to come at me. And now we fucking restart. This is the shit. This is... 
We are fucking in it. This is why I hate this zone. And I'm bleeding. Sick. Oh, they're gonna kill me. Oh, they're gonna kill me and I'm gonna lose all my fucking souls. Come on, man. I hear a spell. I'm dead. Didn't kill me. Oh my god. Please. Oh my god. Thank you. Fuck you. And fuck you too. Great. What a what an outstanding start to this area. Really, really fucking great stuff. She sh she's still shooting at me. Look how fucking far away she is. She's still just fucking firing them off. Rapid fire, even. Can you not? Every time you hear that fucking splash sound. Why can't we be friends? There's a... I ask that myself that question a lot. Where are my soul... There they are. I got pretty far back. Oh, hello. You were just guarding my souls, eh? Dickhead. No, not anymore, you're not. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, there's shit over there, too, that I can get to. There's enemies and shit and, and items. There's, it's just, it's just a cavalcade of just constant tomfoolery in this area. And honestly, it's just, it's not what anybody wanted, but Dark, but like, from software was just like, <laughs> whoa. But wouldn't it be funny if? And everybody was like, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be funny from software. Nothing that you think is funny, anybody else thinks is funny. That's just not the way the world works. Yeah. Your sense of humor and our sense of humor drastically differs. Oh, God. Now I'm about to really fucking get the business. And there goes the torch. Oh, yeah, that was three. That was three soul arrows that just hit me. I just... Oh, my God. Oh, fuck me. I just want to be clear on that. That was three that hit me. Um, ouch, by the way. In case you were curious. Fucking ouch. Okay. I just want to go up here. Unrelenting. Unrelenting. How did you even cast two like that? It's not even fair. She's still casting them. She's still firing at me. Look how far away I am. I can't target you from here. How's that fair? To which the response is obviously, fuck fair, it's Dark Souls, bitch. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. What? That delay? Oh, I'm fucking out of here. Stop casting spells at me. Ouch. Yikes! Oh, well, I was asking for that. I literally leapt into that maze strike. Look at this shit. I'm just trying to fight this dude. You mean caster. I smell another one. Nope, didn't come. Oh, they're st they are still there. It just didn't actually get to me. That one. Or this one. Or that one. This little asshole right here.
I'm just trying to get to the uh, a closer torchlight area. I just don't want to run back anymore. Holy shit, that still got me. Cool. I'm just gonna fight. Oh, hello. Just gonna fight your friend in here first. Fuck you. Ouch. It just doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. This is the area where if you if you decided you were like, I don't need ranged weapons at all in the game, right? I can just do everything with melee. This is the area where you start to feel like shit. Where it's like, hmm, maybe I should have multiclassed. Maybe that would be helping me right now if I if I had uh, more than one ability, which was just hit stuff hard. This is the spot. This is the spot where that regret starts to seep in to the gameplay, and you really, really start to own the role-playing of your character. Uh, and that role-playing is, <laughs> you came to get fucked, right? Because that's what's about to happen. It, mm, it marinates. For a second there, I don't know why, but I read that as in margaritas, and I, I'm really confused as to where, what, what the fuck was that hit, though? Yeah, that's time for me to throw a fucking lightning ball. You read martinis? Maybe that's what. I, yeah, martinis. Yep, that's a good one too. Yoinkies! I'm just gonna hit you with spells until you are a great big dead boy. Oh, that's yep. All right. Oh my fucking god! He almost killed me. That strike could have easily killed me if it would have landed. Fucking hold that shit. Fucking hold this shit. Oh, fucking hold this shit too. Yo, the force impact knocked him back. Got a little saving grace there. Now it's time for fireballs. You like fireballs? I like fireballs. Yikes! Ah, oh, I was trying to roll. I've only got two more fireballs, so just let me have this. Uh, he's not going to let me have it. Oh, I mean, I got it off. I didn't take any damage. All right, let's back it up. I need I need good rolling space. And considering I can't see what's behind me yet... Ah, here we go. Follow the blue flower road. Yeah, yeah, now you want to back up? Now you're like, oh, he's coming at me. I can't tank. I can't take this dude. He's too strong. Well, you're fucking right, you piece of shit. Oh, God. Got him. I have three Estus flasks left. I'm barely halfway through the zone! What am I doing without fire on this bridge? Come here, fire. I want. I bet almost all of these deaths that are here are from trying to roll around that dude because he will make you pay for trying to roll around him in a very quick and immediate fashion. Yeah, of course it was fast, Shaley. He learned from the best. He's been watching me play it. Oh, it's locked. Cool. Uh, you know what? I, I'm i actually happy about that. I just did all that work. I just did all that fucking work and got to a locked door. My favorite. My favorite. That's just really good. No. No, that unfortunately... Unfortunately, that's not what that means at all. Oh, my God. I just walked into it. I just walked into it. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Please let me heal. Don't fucking kill me. Oh, they're trying. They're trying their best. Oh, lordy, they're trying. All right, one Estus Flask. Um, I feel like there's a lesson to be learned from what just happened. Yeah, I did. I did fucking walk in the wrong neighborhood. 
They sized me up and they were like, hey, we can take him. What's what? What magic? Why is there magic? From across the pit, though? Come the fuck on! Alright, I gotta go kill that bitch. And by extension, I have to go kill one of her friends. I'm almost certain. Uh, that may be the last of them, though. Dark spirit grunting noise. Alright, grunting noise. I guess let's fucking do this. This is not going to go in my favor. I got that one Estus. I got to kill this enemy. Sweet, a human effigy for myself for when I inevitably die. What if I just run away and hide from his bitch ass? I don't remember. When you invade somebody, you can see them on the map, right? Like, after a certain point in time... You can just see them and, and, like, they can track you down. I'm pretty sure is how that works. Okay. That's probably not what I want to stand in right now. Grunting noise, if you want to PvP so bad, motherfucker, you're going to have to find me. I'm not coming to you. I'll wait right here in this, this passage. But see, here's the thing, though, Chayla. When you invade somebody, you invade them from that zone. You use an item, and then it finds players who are in the same zone as you, picks one for you, invade, and that's how it works. So he fucking knows. He knows what zone I'm in. Actually, that's him right there, isn't it? Yeah, that's him. He knows where I am, I think. Either that or he's looking for me. But he hasn't found me yet. <laughs> Playing hide and seek. I don't want to murder him. I like I like pissing off people who PvP. Because they come in expecting an easy, an easy match, and then I'm just like, Sup, nerd? What if that's you? You made a character named Grunting Noise? I'm just going to unmod you. For invading me and for making a terrible, a character with a fucking terrible, terrible name. Garbage. You're atrocious. You don't know it on Steam. Whew. Thank goodness I'm safe from the ever powerful J Hit. He can't just waltz into my game and fucking decimate me. Mm-hmm. We'll go with that. We'll let you we'll let you keep some amount of pride there, Chayla. We'll we'll just go with you don't want to kill me. <laughs> oh, this guy's pretty stubborn. I'm pretty sure you get a message when the invader leaves.
he fell in a hole somewhere and needs help, eh? That's what you're going with? Would you help him? If he did fall in a hole, would you help him? Maybe? I wouldn't fucking help him. <laughs> Fuck yourself. I am the victor. Good. Serves him right. Telling you, Chayla, it's not like if if it was random, if it was like random chance, and like sometimes you just happen to like go and invade somebody, I'd be like, okay, fine, I'll give it to you. Like, let's let's have it out. Let's let's have a good show of it, and and so be it. Right? It's not fucking random. Some asshole is like, I want to go murder somebody who's trying to play the game. They're not. This is not a designated PvP area, as far as I know, within the community. And they're just like, I'm just going to go use an item in one of the shittiest zones that they can be in. And I'm going to force them to fight me. You are a dick munch at that point in time. I don't care if you fall in a hole and die. You deserved it. I'm also undead like three times right now. I don't even know how he got matched with me. Because, realistically, that shouldn't even happen. Oh, oh no. I gotta put the torch out. I, I can assure you, he did not want that. They literally never want that. They'll taunt you when you die, but up and, and maybe they'll bow before they start, but those are the only exceptions to that rule. Or a dance competition. I laid it out for you. PvPers have one thing in mind, getting whatever it is that you get from doing PvP. If they're not going to get that reward uh, from their time spent, they will stop. Which is why, like I said, I just like fucking with them. I just like putting myself in a place where they're unlikely to find me. And then just, you know, hiding and seeing if they do anything about it. So this was the one that was shooting at me across the way. But she's got a friend. Bye. Um, yeah, it, that's that's really all it comes down to. That's that's all I honestly had to say about that. Some PvPers can be very kind fellows, who are who are who it's an enjoyable experience to battle. Most of the time, no, they're not going to get that. Did I go back for that one dude that I killed the item? Where did I kill him at? Was it over here? Did I pick that item up? I don't think that I did. Nope, I did. God damn it. Now I have to cross this fucking wasteland. Deal with this caster. I want to do it when that knight is not near her, by the way, because otherwise this turns into, as you can see, we've got another sister off in the distance. This turns into a big old clusterfuck real fast. Yeah, that knight saw me.
that was my last SS flask, by the way. I decided it would be worth it. It wasn't. But at least I lost my torch bank here. I basically ended up net neutral on HP after using that SS flask. There's a curse jar somewhere nearby. Oh, there's a whole horde of them. Do I have spells? Fuck. This is gonna get me fucking cursed. No! Yeah, I'm cursed. Fucking goddammit. I knew it was going to, and I still did it. It's my own fault. And there was nothing over here except an enemy, so... You know, uh, three for three on that one. Feels pretty good. What just happened to me right there is the good old classic Dark Souls. I just had a real good old fun classic ass Dark Souls there. Really great time. 10 out of 10 wood Dark Souls again. I'm just kind of backtracking. Oh god. Oh, and you really don't want to run in this area, and I just did near the ledge, and that was really dumb. You don't want to. I don't know why I did. Just trying to speed it up. I just wanted to check out that area. I didn't really feel like I got a chance to yet, so... Now that I did, great! Uh, fuck, that was terrifying. I pushed, like, seven buttons on my control all at once. I can't believe that none of... not a single one killed me. Uh, we're actually close to the end of this fucking madhouse, but uh, it doesn't end there, because I'm sure you guys already noticed the fog door. I'm sure you already noticed the fucking fog door that's at the end of all this. Let me tell you right now. I don't remember what that fog door is. But I can almost guarantee it's bad. Oh, and yeah, we're not done yet. There's more over here. There's more fucking assholes over here. Because they just literally never stop. You have a healing item? No. Alright. Well, fuck you too. Yeah, you see this fucking Heidi boy right here too? Trying to take advantage of you wanting to rush the caster? Like an asshole? How about fuck yourself? Oh, and now my torch is gone. Wow, that went about as poorly. And then I ate that too. Great. I was in the process of saying that went about as poorly as I could have hoped, and, uh, yeah, I was pretty much right. I was pretty fucking much right. Go ahead and use another one of these bad boys. Since it's the only way that I can heal now. Don't. Now, the depressing thing is... I don't really want to go back here. Uh, because, as you can see, just up ahead, all we really have to look forward to is one of our fucking asshole ogre friends, who will chop my face off. 
Right about now. I didn't roll? Uh, I think that that's bullshit. But, whatever. I have no idea why I didn't roll there, but I guess I didn't. So now, we restart the whole area again. Remember how I said I don't like this place? Is it starting to make sense why? Getting a real good feeling for why I may not enjoy this particular area very much. Is it starting to sink in a little bit? Starting to kind of have some realizations about your life, the universe, and everything. Because I fucking am. Whoops. I have to go kill those three dudes again. Uh, which you know is what I definitely wanted to do. High into phase 11s? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Congrats. Yeah, it's quantum slime poop time, my dude. Ow, fuck you. The only good bug is a dead bug. Yeah. Hey, look, it's our friend grunting noise again. Yeah, I mean, if Googling it works, Google it. For sure. Let's see if we can see him scampering around in here again. Just hanging out and having a good old time. I'm also scouting the entrance here to see if he finds me. I have souls on the line this time that I really don't want to lose, so I would really rather him not find me this time. I have 70,000 souls on the line. There he is again, running around, looking for me, trying to find me. Let's see if he does. Scampering about. Oh, it looks like he may have wisened up to my hiding place. Yeah, he did. He knows I'm here. <laughs> please, dude. Fucking please. Ah, <sighs> oh, great. Very cool. I like the fact that there's an enemy here now. No, I cannot teleport away. I can't teleport while he's in the game with me. Yeah, I actually I think that he's a he's a glitch he's a glitch guy. Uh, he wants me to I think he wants me to kill him and then take his stuff, which I'm just not gonna do. So, uh, I've been reading online that there's like some dumb shit that can happen uh, with other players in this game. I think it's this game uh, where people wi people are, are glitching other people's saves by forcing them to pick up an item in their inventory. Uh, that's kind of what this looks like to me. Yeah, he wants me to pick that item up. He dropped an item on the ground. He wants me to pick that up. I'm not going to.
But you can't kill him either. Yeah, it is dumb. All you can do is spoil their fun. Honestly, I'll probably stop after this so that he stops invading me. Because I can't really progress while he's here. This is why I wish this game had text chat, so I could just be like, fuck off, griefer, and then just report them. Uh, but can't, can't do that. himself invisible oh no he just made himself a bigger pot oh, I made himself a mushroom well, that's nice I whiffed An opposite view thumbnail? Yeah, probably not.
I am still playing Slimmy, but not really. Because I've got a griefer in my game trying to trying, trying to glitch my save. So I'm I'm actually just uh fucking with him. While he wastes my time, I waste his. What'd you walk into? This that, this guy is trying to uh glitch my save. He dropped an item on the ground that he wants me to pick up. And uh yeah, I'm not gonna do it. So and he keeps transforming into other stuff. He also wants me to kill him, and I'm not going to do that either. And I'm pretty sure he knows that he can't kill me. So we're just kind of in a stalemate of him wasting my time and me wasting his time. So it's fun. Yes, it is. It is. People can hack the game and break it, and then you can invade somebody else's game. Why are people like this? Uh, they just really need um, friends, positive relationships in their life, I think, um, in general. So that's that's the only thing that I can muster. Yeah, see? He's still trying to get me to do it. That's that's the item. You can drop an item on the ground when you invade somebody. So deep I almost cried. Yeah, I know. It's pretty sad. He dropped one there. He dropped one over there. I'm just I'm just waiting him out. I'm pretty sure he will time out eventually. Um But there's not there's not a whole lot I can do, unfortunately. No, I have not put any quantum slimes in the ranch. There's no time limit? Do I just need to save and quit? Oh, I can't save and quit. So it's literally on him. There he goes. Bye, dude. Thanks for the free human effigy, though. I do, but unfortunately, I don't really have much control over hurrying in, in this particular area. As I've kind of documented at length, uh, there's just a lot of bullshit to deal with. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to hit this bonfire. I think we'll just stop 
Because I, I, I really don't want to get invaded by him again and waste all that time again. I don't have... I don't think I have anything. Burn an effigy? Oh, uh, okay. There. Great. That should solve that. I, it told you. It told you in the text. It blocks. It blocks people from getting back in. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> nice. I'm being a little bit bold right now. I just want to kill a couple of these guys. Trying to figure out how quickly I can navigate this area, because uh, I have a feeling it's gonna probably be important. One or two more times. How long does the effigy burn last? Do you know, J Hit? I kind of like to have like a decent idea of how long I can expect that dickhead to be gone. Flat 30 minutes, that'll be perfect. Thank god I saw some shit about that online, like forever ago. Oh god, he, he just about got me killed. Motherfucker. It's really too bad that that's still a thing that people can do in the game, honestly. Oh, oh, that should have killed me. I can't believe I just fucking tanked that hit. Oh my god, the swing on that, though. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the, welcome to the stream tonight, uh, Slimmy. It's, it's basically been that. I beat two bosses and I've been here for an hour, so. Uh, I've died a couple times. I've got a, a lot of souls riding on my survival right now, which is why I'm a little tweaky as far as, like, just trying to get past some of this shit. It's still a ways away uh, from where I am right now, which is uh, suboptimal. For reasons I'm sure you can imagine. That's not a real ledge, thank God. Unfortunately, that spell noise is pretty much the only thing that makes this area not complete and utter balls. Because if it wasn't there, uh, it would be miserable to try to beat this area. More entertainment? Yeah. I I would agree. I would agree. It's been it's been a rough it's been a rough couple hours. The stream has been fucking fraught with technical difficulties too. We spent some time doing the, the old Peggle for a while. Uh actually I, I guess I should probably say that. I did beat Peggle Knights uh tonight, so that is something that you miss that you may or may not care about. But it was during it was during shitty frame rate drops and uh, frame drops and shit like that. So I don't know. I I don't know how really that great it was, but it was a thing that happened. Uh, in case that that's well, fuck me. I didn't really go the way I wanted it to at all. I'm trying to get a leaping attack on that dude like three times. Also, didn't get one on this guy. Can't find a care for Peggle. Was it at least a close game, or was it just kind of a shitty loss in the grand scheme of things? God damn it. Fuck you. Mm. 
Don't. Fuck me. Alright. 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 What? That still hit me? Oh, I might die. Oh! Fuck, man. I tried to roll, but I hit deep water, and then I just couldn't. Alright. Sweet. That's very fun. Oh, Damn. That sucks. I'm gonna be honest, my my desire to keep playing this area is fucking waning by the second. I don't really I don't really wanna fucking <sighs> trudge through this area again. It's getting very old very fast. I don't know why shit does so much damage to me either. Like sometimes these spells fucking tickle and sometimes they're like the most devastating thing that I've ever been hit by, and I don't I don't get that either. Fuck you! Yeah, that was that was a boss's amount of souls that we just lost, by the way. Just in case anybody had forgotten. I didn't go spend that 30k from the... Mm -hmm. One in four when you're in attendance. You're fine with that? Do you want them to lose? I feel like I usually have more fun when the team I'm there to watch wins, but maybe I'm the crazy one. Who knows? I feel like that's uh, a little mean, Slimmy. I feel like that's a little fucking mean. I'm at least gonna get these back. Whoa, 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 kill him. Thank you. See, that one did way more damage than it normally does. I don't understand. Oh shit, I might be dead. I might be dead. Nope, I'm okay. That one might kill me though. Nope, didn't. I don't know how that, how that other one hasn't seen me yet. Oh my god, this fucking ledge there. What the hell? What the hell is that shit? Oh, see, what is that? Why does it do so much damage sometimes? Fuck you. Yeah, I never said that you had to care or not. I was just pointing out that it is mean. It is, very simply put, mean. That's all I was saying. Regardless of whether or not you care. Ah, yeah, I mean, that's fair. Just also, when you say, I like it when they get mad, when they lose, it's just kind of mean, that's all. 
There's some bullshit around. I heard it. And I feel like you just kind of got to own that. That's not not a bad thing if you do. That's just how it is. Not mad, disappointed. Oh, you love how... Yeah, you did say disappointed. You're right. I mean, I feel like they're similar yet different. Or, or maybe, like, you'll oftentimes get one without... The, or one with the other. So I feel like it's kind of sending the same message. Fuck you, nerds. Ow. Alright, I deserve that. I did say fuck you, nerds, to them. They got me there. Well, I'm gonna try and go back and get this treasure again. When they get mad, it's much nicer. Damn, dude. Yo, ouch. Alright, torch is gone. Feels bad. Why does that not always kill as well? I really actually need that to like pretty consistently kill and it doesn't. Just just keep in mind, Slimmy, you're kinda of picking on a, a state that like we don't have anything else better. The I Cubs are like the closest thing we have to a pro sports team. When you put it in that perspective, it's kinda of mean to pick on people for for wanting a team to win. Alright, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker with spells this time. Not even gonna give him a chance. Eat dicks. Oh, that didn't hurt nearly as much. Hit him in the face. Oh shit. Oh, I can... Wait, I can... Oh, that was a heal that I cancelled. Very glad I can't. What? Why didn't that hit? Kind of fine with that. Yeah, that's your call. I'm just saying. Seems a little, a little bit like uh, kicking a horse when it's down. These fucking branches are blocking my spells, and it's killing me right now. This dude would already be dead. Oh. And then I got the fucking one-two wombo combo from him there that sucked. And now he's fucking dead, so he can eat my shorts. Singer's Dress, Life Ring plus two. All right, never have to fucking come back here ever again. Never have to come back here ever fucking again. Killed that shithead. Beat up a bunch of these dudes. Feel good about that. Never going back again. <gasps> I'm dead. I told myself that I should just use the flame butterfly. It'll be worth it. But that torch was visible and in sight. Yeah, okay. I mean, like, if you're sitting next to bad fans, then I guess my, my thought, my perspective for you there would just be like, I, I hate bad fans, regardless of whether or not they like the team that I like. Uh, they just are shitheads. But you can hate the bad fans without hating all the fans or hoping that the team loses. Also, I just call those people out on their shitty behavior, but, I mean, not everybody's willing to do that, so I get that. Hey guys, remember how when we got to this place, I was like, boy, I sure do hate this area. Really not my favorite. You guys remember that? I think I said something like that. Something to that effect. I may have also reiterated it multiple times now. 
Uh, yeah, this is fucking why. This is fucking why. I've done- I've already put five hours of gameplay into this zone the first time I beat it. And I'm doing it again. Because it doesn't get any easier. Knowing every single pitfall doesn't fucking make it any easier. It's still a giant fucking shitty spaghetti fest of bullshit, and it sucks. Yeah, I gotta appreciate the clutchness for sure, for sure. Well, that's the thing about shitty fans, too, is like, they are un- they are in- Oh my god, the fucking delay on that attack. Shitty fans are incapable of recognizing when a team does something like that, you know? They're just assholes through and through. Alright, I just wanted to pick that guy off, but... Because he's gonna fucking river snake after me. Why or what the fuck was my roll? I tried three times! What the fuck? And that should have probably hit me. Alright, you big fucking jackass. You've taken enough Estus flasks from me, piece of shit. Whoa. I don't think he liked the ledge that he was on. Right. But shitty fans just want to... 22, yeah, that's very important information. That's very, very important information. Although, for being honest, let's be real. Captain Kirk. Average starship pilot. Well, okay, actually, he's a great pilot. Average starship captain. We'll go with that. Uh, very, very similar to a lot of Star Trek them, I would, I would say, in my opinion. Like, I like Star Trek. It's a pretty good show. I really like Star Trek The Next Generation. It's a really good show. Um, but I mean, the, the fandom surrounding it can be a little much. I would not consider myself a Trekkie, even though I am a fan of a couple of the series and, and shows. Deep Space Nine is your fave? I have never given Deep Space Nine the time of day to my to my failing. I have never given that show the time of day. And I wish that I had at this point in my life. And I'm sure that I will. Um, but I have not yet. Deep Space Nine is also my father's favorite. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. He really, really likes the crew. Um, my dad is actually the reason that I uh, even know what Star Trek is. My dad recorded episodes on VHS and would watch them uh, multiple times. Whoa there, Nelly. Yep. Yep. Pretty much. Pretty fucking much, my dude. Nail. Hammer. TNG was a lot of the people that I knows first. Um... And, I, and like I said, for me, I, I've never really, I, I've never had much love for the original series. And I've never really watched anything else besides the original series and uh, Next Generation. So, I really need to branch out and try some of the other ones, but I just have not. I just fucking love uh, Jean-Luc Picard. I just love him, he's great. 
think that he is an, an incredibly human character, and that's one of the reasons why I love him so much. He's really fucking good. Whoa, there's a lot of you boys out here, eh? Came to fucking party, it looks like. Oh, I should have just attacked you that. We weren't allowed to watch Star Trek. Can't even fathom an existence like that. I mean, if 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 we, if we really want to go there too, I think it's I think it's fair to say at this point in time, maybe it hasn't always been this way, but at this point in time, I think Star Trek is the better Star franchise that we have um, right now, and I think a lot of that comes from the uh, some of the shit that's been going on in just society lately and how they've been treating people and other stuff related to the projects and it's really disappointing so I would love to say that I'm still a Star Wars fan but I don't really know that I'm a fan anymore because I don't really want to be associated with anything to do with that fandom anymore it kind of sucks I don't even honestly I don't even care about the content the the promise that the that the material brings I think is really valuable and really cool uh, and it's a different type of fantasy than what we normally get so it stands on its own there and it's a universe that I know a decent amount about and that I care about which is good all those things are good the Star Wars fans suck dick and it sucks that they do and that's all I have to say about that I uh, don't think I can add much more to the conversation than what people have already said and I agree with them so pretty much as simple as that now I gotta fi figure out a way to get this motherfucker out from around here I want you to fight me when I don't have to dodge spells and you don't get to live. Why do you always survive that hit? It's like the game knows I'm just trying to kill you quickly. So it's like, oh, hey, you want this to take a second? Sure, I got your back. Here you go. He's not going to die in one hit. Like all the fucking other ones do. Sweet. Thanks, game. Love it. More, please. Yeah, fans, they, they absolutely can. Fan, fandoms have been ruining uh, great things for, honestly, as long as I've been on the internet. Fans have been ruining great things. Probably the first exposure that I had to that phenomenon was Homestuck. Uh, and it's really too bad because I really enjoyed reading Homestuck. But I can't really count myself as a Homestuck fan anymore because... A, I haven't finished it. Uh, and B, the, the fans suck dick. It's just... They're, they're awful. They are not great people to be around, and it's too bad. Oh, I hate the people that are super vitriolic. If you don't like something, move on with your fucking life. Get over it. You're, you're acting like a fucking baby. Leave a negative review, fine. Like, that's... You, you, there are tools as a consumer that you can utilize to express your feedback and your viewpoint. Whatever. Your viewpoint's shit, it's really fucking bad, and you need to know that, but I can't force you to recognize that. If you are going to be abhorrently stubborn about how right you are about it, fine. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna waste my time. But don't fucking harass people just because you, they didn't do the job that you wanted them to do. That's not their, that's not what they're there for. That's not how people should treat other people, and it's fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous that we have actors from recent movies leaving Twitter, and people having to band together and denounce all the fucking hatred that's being spewed by people who are so purported to enjoy embracing the light side of things. Like, I, I understand, like, there are some people who are Star Wars fans that are like, I'm not, I don't like the light side, I like the dark side. All right, fine. But that doesn't give you the right to be a fucking prick asshole to people who put work and effort into something that they cared about just because you don't like it. Just because you don't like it. 
and you want to throw a sissy baby fit, like, get over your goddamn self. I'm not, I'm not even trying to, like, I'm not saying that I think that they're right or wrong. I'm not saying I agree with them or disagree with them. That, none of that literally matters. None of that fucking matters at all. And that's, that's, I think, the, the heart of the problem is a lot of people have, they've, they've managed to get a lot of the people who should just look at them and be like, I don't care if I agree or disagree with you. Fuck off, move on with your life. Um, <laughs> makes you feel soulless? No, like, here's the thing. Uh, you have to understand, like, I spend a lot of my time in the neutral. I spend a decent amount of my time, as much as possible, being as neutral as possible. Because I don't, I don't think that there's a lot of, uh, a lot to be gained or had in extreme viewpoint expression. I think that most of the time it ends up being very negative, uh, and doesn't really help anything, right? So... So, my opinion on this one is solely based on the way that people are treating other people about something as simple as a piece of film entertainment is fucking ridiculous. And you can, you can make the, the people who do this are making the argument that they're like, yeah, but it's not just a piece of film. It's my life. It's the thing that I've, it's the only thing I've cared about for years and decades. That speaks more to you as a person than it does anything else. And I think maybe, instead of yelling at people online and making them feel so awful about themselves and so unwelcome that they have to leave the spaces that they thought were where they were supposed to be and where they wanted to be, maybe instead of doing that, let's work on you a little bit. Let's take a step back and recognize that maybe you are just a shitty fucking person who sucks a lot of dicks and work on that instead. I guess I don't have enough dexterity to use these. That's, um, really unfortunate. I'll bust out the heavy crossbow, though, for sure. Yeah, get fucking dumpstered. I'm not running out there while you shoot spells at me. Get fucked. How about one more? How does that, how does that sound? Sound good? Great. How about you? You next? Move up a column here. Can I get a target? There we go. Yeah, how about no more spells? How about stop that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that other shot there, my dude? What, what, what were we doing there? All right, well, I tanked that last spell, which sucks, but there. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's off. It's honestly awful because they're just people. They're just people. And it's one of, it's, it's, it's part of the problem. We were talking about pre-orders the other day. Uh, I think it was Thursday. I think it was actually, or no, it was Wednesday. It was a spicy day. We were talking about pre-orders on Wednesday, right? And it's the same fucking concept. If you're not willing to put in the time and do the research to figure out whether or not the thing that you're looking to consume is going to be worth your time, maybe don't. Maybe don't rush out to consume it. Like, you have options. Nobody's fo Oh, Sunlight Blade. Hell yes. I believe that's a miracle. And I believe that it's a fucking cool as shit miracle. Hell yes. Hell yes! We're equipping that. Reinforces the weapon, on the other hand, with sunlight, a form of lightning. The sun grants, uh, life... Well, that doesn't have anything to do with the spell effect, but yeah. Basically, you get a sun weapon, and it's fucking cool. Yeah, I, I it's, it's just a, it's just a classic. It, it's becoming a really, really poor example of how our society and our, the people in it are evolving right now, and evolving into incredibly entitled individuals who feel like they have the 
the right to everything their way, when they want it, how they want it, and it's it's starting to get really, really old. Yeah, you watch some gameplay, you watch some reviews. Same thing with fucking movies. Let the people who are going to give you a straightforward review about the content of the film go see the film. If you're at all concerned about how it's going to turn out, and if you're not, and here's here's the biggest thing. Here's the biggest thing. I understand having a few exceptions to your list. I understand having being like, you know what? Doesn't matter how good or bad I think that Warcraft game looks, I'm going to buy it when it comes out, and that's just that's just the facts in the case. Fine. You are allowed to feel that way. You're allowed to feel passionate and strongly about a franchise that you invest in and care about. But if you do that, if you make that decision, if you're like, I'm going to commit to this no matter what, you need to fucking suck it up. It's no matter what. You got what you asked for, which is no preparation. You put no effort into investigating it. Uh, yeah, those are the only ones you still pre-order? Perfect. I mean, like, that's really what it comes down to for me. If you're not going to put forth the effort to at least investigate then you do not get to fucking uh, s flip shit about it when it's not what you thought it was going to be. You have to cut, you have to accept that loss that you signed up for by not, by, by putting it in a special box and then reevaluate, like you can reevaluate your trust with that franchise too. You can be like, okay, well, they really fucking burned me on this one. I'm not too happy about that. Maybe this, maybe next time I take a step back and I do evaluate it. That's a, that is the response For, to the people who hate uh, Star Wars 8. My question, my, the, the thought that I would pose to them. Yeah, the, the question that I would pose to them is simply. Is this going to adjust the way that you purchase and buy into the franchise from this point on? And if so... That should be the end of the discussion. You vote with your fucking money when it comes to companies and businesses. You vote with your money. You made a poor vote. You made an uninformed, uneducated vote. And, you've, and you're, you're trying to recoup your losses by being like, Well, I didn't know it was going to be full of women. Them fucking women folk getting all up in my movies. I didn't know that. Well, sorry. You made that choice as a consumer. You can be upset about it, but there is no reason for you to uh, harass and uh, try to like redeem some side of that purchase that you made. By treating people like shit. It's just not how that works. Accept it. Accept the fact that you're in a new place with that franchise now. And move the fuck on. Move on. Does it suck? Yeah. Nobody's saying that it can't suck. Nobody's saying that it doesn't suck. What everybody's saying is, fucking, we don't want to hear about it anymore. Get the fuck over it. You're making an ass out of yourself. Oh, fuck. I might die. Oh, well, there goes the torch. I wanted to keep the torch alive. I was greedy. Yeah, exactly. You didn't threaten people. You didn't, you didn't engage in, like, you know, vitriolic hatred. You were just like, all right, well, there you go. That's it. I didn't like it. I didn't think it was that good. It certainly wasn't a redemption from how Mediocre 7 felt. And there you go. Like, that's a perfectly fine feeling to have. But that's, that's really all it should be. And the, the way that it can manifest itself nowadays with, with the way that social media works is just really fucking scary. Oh, fuck. I just screwed myself. Oh, no. I didn't get to the caster. Now I've got two knights on my dick. That's not what I wanted. Oh my god, I tried to roll. I didn't roll. 
Fucking run, please! Oh my god. This is brutal. Please. Not like this. Oh my god, I missed. Just a horrible miss. What? Shield, please? Where were you, shield? Oh, and then I whiffed, and now I'm dead. Just gonna go back out this way. Heal really quick. Yo, these guys suck dick! Whew! Yeah, I, I didn't see the new Ghostbuster. Well, and... Oh my god. Really? I didn't see the new Ghostbusters expressly because... I just... didn't... have any interest in it. I made that choice pretty early on. Decided that I wasn't really down for that stuff. Wow, did he just go the wrong way? Can I get away from him? Will he not see or hear me? No, he sees me. Oh. Alright. That's pretty cool. This is another hacker, by the way. I just want to point that out. Alright, bye. Yeah. Do you think that teleport was pretty legit? Yeah, my fucking my fucking uh humanity wore off. I guess I'll go pop another one. Jesus fuck, why are they out tonight? I like that it didn't do any fucking damage. That that to me is very funny. How are you alive? Didn't I kill you? Oh, but I have to fucking... Nope, I'm just gonna press on. I have to rest. I've killed every enemy in this area except one. I'm not gonna do it. I can't. I can't do that to myself. I just need to finish. If I get fucking invaded by a hacker again, so be it. Oh, there's... Never mind. Every enemy in boat, too. If there's another guy scraggly, sprawling... Oop. Ow. Nope. Not today, motherfucker. I heard you like the new Star Wars. See, that's the, the, the funniest thing about it. Like, I can give my opinion on it as well. Um, which is that I went and saw it in theaters. Uh, and I thought it was fine. Um, I also went into it with no ex expectations. I was like, I don't know what this movie's gonna be. It's another Disney Star Wars. The first one was like, um, fine. It showed us some new characters, and it showed us some old characters, and I don't know what's gonna happen. So, here we go. Let's just see what's gonna happen. And what I saw was, you know, you could argue that uh, not a lot happened, and you could argue that a lot happened. And I think that that's the the interesting thing about the film, is that uh, as far as like where the characters are physically in space in comparison to where they started that movie not a lot happened pretty 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 samey pretty pretty not very different yeah you're gonna you're gonna walk me right into a pit aren't you you're gonna walk me right into a fucking pit I can smell it I can fucking smell it I don't like that you're just moving away from me you are you are bait you are 150% bait and I don't like that um, you know, I didn't, I didn't think that it was, I didn't think that it was that bad. And, and like I said, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I went into it with like pretty much no expectations. Um, I think that that's really important. Yeah. Come over here, bait. I fucking smell you. How did it just heal? All right, I might be I might be screwed. Nope. 
Nope, no heals for you, bitch. Trying to force yourself to like it? Yeah. Like, I, I also feel like 7 did, a, did a, a, a good job setting up a lot of stuff for 8, specifically. You know, obviously I was expecting there to be some follow-through. But, but here's the thing. Again, I had no real expectations for... Based on what happened in 7, I didn't formulate any theories. I didn't have any... I had zero expectations. None. And uh, a lot of people are claiming some other stuff. I'm not going to spoil anything. Since I don't know. I don't know how much you've already had spoiled for you, Slimmy. I'm not going to do any spoiling of the movie. Um, but, you know, there's like one really big thing that people keep pointing to. And they're like, you know, they did this wrong. They did this wrong. And I'm like, I don't feel that way. Like, they did it the way they wanted to do it. And I don't think that there was a right or wrong uh, I don't think that there was a right or wrong way to do it. Uh, I think that they did it the way they needed to do it. And I think that the way that they did it certainly made sense in the context of the universe and the characters that we know and the film that they were and the story that they're trying to tell. So when you put all of that shit together is where I end up really questioning why people are so, uh, like vehemently against this this newer movie because yeah very nice and see that that sentiment right there show I disagree with I I I a hundred percent disagree with people who say it's a remake it's not a fucking remake it's an entirely different setting story and characters. You could say it follows the same thematic beats, but you could say that a lot of the movies follow the same thematic beats. They're a very simplistic story told in trilogies. It doesn't really have a lot to offer as far as thematic beats go. It's kind of a story we've told a thousand times in a thousand different forms. So unless you can get invested in the different forms that it takes... You've got to say a lot of shit is a reimagining of Star Wars. It's not even a reformatting. No, I I don't think so. Not at all. No. It is still the first part. Uh, it is still the first part of a trilogy that tells the story of the hero's journey, and that is what Star Wars will always be. That is what Star Wars will always be. And if anybody expected it to be different, if anybody wanted it to change from that formula then I don't think they really know or like what Star Wars, Star Wars actually is. And that's that's the thing that think the thing that blows my mind is like it's like yeah, I mean if if you I don't think that they wanted to tell another like darker story where you see somebody fall uh, like they did with the prequels and I think that the prequels satisfied what they were supposed to do which was build out the idea of what led to the actual wars and stars that's that's it right so maybe the prequel trilogy isn't really a hero's journey because we see Anakin become Darth Vader fine okay I'll give you that wasn't really ever supposed to be though and you kind of had to know that they were going to go back to that when they started this new trilogy. Right. They were going to go back to a hero's journey. They were going to be like, all right, well, we're going to tell a story about a new hero. The, uh, the, the original trilogy tells a story about a hero in a universe, and he goes on a journey, and he saves the universe. Or he, he does some good stuff. I don't know about saves the universe. But, like, that's, that's what he's working towards, right? Um. The, the, the prequels are very much designed. Yeah, I like seeing Anakin evil, go evil as well. I actually, I'm not a prequel hater. I'm not a prequel lover. I don't rewatch them often, but I'm not a, I'm not a hater. I understand. See, that's, they were designed to do a thing. They were designed to do a thing. And it was going to be a different thing than what the first three movies were designed to do. And people hated that. 
So then they're like, all right, well, we accomplished the thing we wanted to do with the prequels. Let's tell another story about a hero. The, the universe still needs heroes. The world still needs heroes. The world still needs people to look up to. The world still... Like, like that is still a popular form of entertainment. Watching somebody rise from literal obscurity, n being a nothing, and becoming a something. People love that shit. It, it drives them. It, they hang on to it, and they get invested in it. And that's great. Um... Oh, I should have kept my fucking torch, shouldn't I have? Wow. This madness just never ends. Uh, and, and I think... <laughs> I think that the, the thing that is lost on, on audience viewers now is they just... They set themselves up with these expectations that, Oh my god, Star Wars is coming back. It's going to have a new movie, it's going to have a new trilogy, and it's going to be it's going to be back again. It's going to be the thing that I loved before. No, it's not. It's going to be something new, and you need to accept that. Fucking singing is back. Oh my god, a bonfire. Fucking praise be. It's going to be something different, and you need to accept that. And you need to Temper your expectations for that. And if you don't, you're just setting yourself up to be disappointed. You only, you are the only person to blame for that. That's the most frustrating thing for me. Um, it should It should be a simple thing. It should be an easy thing that we don't even have to talk about or worry about. But... People are people are taking their opinions uh, about what they like and don't like and applying it to the goodness and badness of a film, and it started happening with other media as well. But it's very present in these Star Wars films, and it's the same thing that I talk to you guys about a lot: about how do you evaluate something objectively without bias and subjectively with your own personal bias involved? How do you do that? And is it important? Is it something we should do? And uh, what value do we get from it? And the answer to a lot of this stuff is simply uh, do your best. Because uh, that's all that you can really do. I'm just going to kill this giant horrible thing really quick. Yeah. Well, and once again, people are like, oh my god, we're getting more Mass Effect. It's gonna just be- it's gonna be just like my favorite Mass Effect, right? It's gonna be just like my favorite Mass Effect. Whether that's 1, 2, or 3, although I don't think many people like 3. No. It's not. Please, just accept that. Yeah, this shit is not- it, as you can see, it's not even- we're not even there yet. We've done two-thirds of it. We're still not done with it. It's never gonna end. Let's- I'm gonna- you know what? We're gonna stop. We're gonna stop where we are. I've made, uh, what can be amounted to prog as progress. I'm just gonna go back to Majula. And I'm just- I gotta- I have to. I can't- I can't keep going anymore. Need to stop. <laughs> Super duper need to stop. Two, three, Andromeda, one. Yeah. And I mean, like, but here's the thing. Like, why do you like those games? Is there better gameplay options in the sequels? Absolutely. Does that lend to liking it more? A lot of times it does. Even if the voice acting degrades, or the music isn't as good, or the planets aren't as cool, or the story isn't as good. Yeah, the controls are ass. Yeah, exactly. Like, so it's it's easy to just be like, well, I don't like one that much because it doesn't have as good controls. Well... Somebody else might be like, yeah, but one's the one that started the series, and it's the one that got me to love it, and so if the new series doesn't start with something like one, I'm going to hate it, and it's like... Really? That's your that's your bar? Because me personally, and this is... And let's let, let me just put this out there really quick, too, because this is a difference between me and a lot of other people out there in the world. Yeah, all the stories are good, yeah. Uh, this is a difference between me and a lot of other people in the world. I don't like redoing things very often. I don't really like replaying games. I don't really like rewatching movies. I don't really like 
redoing stuff that I've already done. I uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Fair point. So, you know, like, when you think about it that way, my opinion and other people's opinions are going to immediately be different because some people are like, I've played Mass Effect 2 30 times, beginning to end a different character each time. I'm like, wow. Uh, you must really like that game or be very bored. One of the two. And... Or, or just, you know... You really, really like that game, and that's fine. But I would never say that that is a good enough reason to set the expectation that Andromeda is going to be a new Mass Effect 2. You've watched the Clue movies over a hundred times? The fact that I'm doing a second playthrough of Dark Souls is, is very surprising to me. Uh, honestly. So... That's that's just an example, but the 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 point and the moral of the story for me is I get that my opinion is different, and I I kind of have to deal with that because people uh, because I'm in that weird space. That's kind of why I have to have an an objective and a subjective opinion. That's kind of why I have to be like subjectively I didn't really like this, and I'm not gonna play it again. And people are like, oh, but it gets better when you play it five times. You find all the secrets, and you can do it with a walkthrough and all this stuff, and I'm like... That sounds like actual torture, is what that sounds like. That sounds like torture, and I don't want to do that. I have no incentive to do that. I beat it once, end of the story. I saw enough. I'm good. I didn't like it. Cough, cough, Earthbound. People say Earthbound is a game that gets better the more times you play it gonna be honest probably not for me probably won't matter how many times I play that game it's always gonna suck so I just I, I really I really think that that is that is a, that is an important part of being just just adjusted <laughs> looking forward to friendship time yeah a bit of a heavy end of the stream yeah I know and I realized I've, I've I'm like way over time because we had internet issues so I wanted some good Dark Souls time, and then we got the griefers in the game, and then we fucking just threw away a couple of lives in that area that I shouldn't have lost, but the fact that we made it to that bonfire is good progress, so I think that that's good enough for me for now. Um, yeah, long story short, I just think that in order to kind of stay balanced in a world with such extreme opposing opinions, you kind of have to be able to be like, this is my opinion about something, and then this is how I evaluated the thing. And those are separate and different, uh, because that way I can still have my opinion. I don't like Earthbound. And I can, I can have the evaluation of it. I gave it like a 4 or 5 out of 10, because I think it's average at best. And I think that you can point to a lot of things that make it objectively average at best. And people's enjoyment of that game is drawn very subjectively, and they like to point to things like uh, funny sounds and funny dialogue and funny enemy designs and stuff like that that make them laugh, and that's part of their enjoyment. And that's fine, but I, I don't even remember laughing at that game at this point in time. I didn't think any of that shit was funny. Yeah. Don't be an ass. Everyone has an opinion, and yours is allowed to be different than mine. Uh, but don't use it to talk about things in, and don't try to claim that things are inherently bad because you don't like them. Don't use your opinion as a weapon, and don't use your opinion to hurt other people who don't deserve it. It is really what it comes down to, and, and honestly, like, the fact that we all seem to be in the same space on that stuff is really great. And I'm really happy that you guys are here. We can have a discussion about this without people getting heated. So... You know, congrats on that, all of you. Good shit. Um, we will be back with Friendship Time tomorrow. And it will be a glorious, wonderful time. I'm sure we'll make a ton of story progress. There definitely won't be a bunch of dumb bullshit that we do uh, about dualizing and requests and stuff. It'll be very productive. It'll be very productive. And everything will be happy and grand. But that's going to be it for me. I'm going to stop. Uh, and <laughs> yay us hell yeah dude hell yeah I'm gonna stop I hope you guys enjoyed the griefers 
And, uh, yeah. Tell other people out there in the world how great you are, because uh, you can you can behave like a rational human being and have a discussion that uh, about touchy subjects that doesn't erupt into a flame war. Yay! Have a good night, guys. Uh, I'll we'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow if you want to come hang out. Got that sweet sweet graces for our. Oh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do pre-stream Slime Rancher. I'm gonna be live with pre-stream Slime Rancher at like. 12.30 or 1 or something like that. So if you want to hang out for a couple hours for that too, chill a little bit before we get into the, the real game, then by all means, do that too. All right. See you later.